Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2015 Grade 7 8 Contest Question 17, which also came up in the Grade 9 10 and 11 12 contests. So the question is You on your new red motorbike decide to make a 180 kilometer trip to Carolina Beach, traveling at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. You make the return trip traveling at a rate of 60 kilometers per hour due to traffic. What was your average speed for the entire trip? So we want to find out the average speed. So we are dealing with speed. Now anytime you're driving on the road or highways, you'll see signs that say maybe 50 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. Doesn't matter what the number is, but the main thing is that you see kilometers divided by hours. And kilometers is the distance and hours is the time. So it's like distance divided by time. And speed is also just velocity. So we will write V for velocity. And then we will have D for distance divided by T for which will be the time. Okay, now let's look at the question. So it says you decide to make a 180 kilometer trip to the beach and you are traveling at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. All right, so what we are given is our distance, which is 180 kilometers, and we are also given our velocity, 90 kilometers per hour. So now we have V and we have D, which means that we can figure out T. So now we all like we just want T on its own. So first we would have to multiply both sides by T to get rid of this denominator. All right, and then we would have TV is equal to D. And now, since we just want T, we would now divide both sides by V. Then we would have T is equal to distance divided by velocity. Okay, and now we can substitute in these values. So we have T is equal to and then we have 180 kilometers divided by 90 kilometers per hour. Okay, so first we can just do 180 divided by 90, that's easy. That's just two. And then we can divide kilometers and kilometers that's just like one over one. So now what we are left with is two divided by one over h. So we're dividing by a fraction. Well, that means we can just multiply by its inverse or reciprocal. So that would be like, instead of two divided by one over h, that would be like two times h, which is equal to two h. So it took two hours for that 180 kilometers. All right, and now, the next part says you make the return trip traveling at a rate of 60 kilometers per hour. So now we would do the exact same thing and instead of 90 we would have 60. So we would have 180 divided by 60 which is then 3. So we would have 3 hours for the return trip. Alright and finally it says what was your average speed for the entire trip? Well if we want to find the average speed for the entire trip well then we would have to have the velocity which is equal to the whole distance divided by the total time that it took. So we'll have B is equal to, and then we had two times the 180 kilometers which is 360 kilometers because that's the total distance and that is divided by the total time and that would be 2 plus the 3 hours. Okay. So this is 360 divided by 5, and that's like doing 300, since 5 is half of 10, it's like doing 360 divided by 10, and you just take off a 0, that would be 36, and then you would multiply that by 2. So we would have 2 times 36, and then what we have here is kilometers divided by hours. And that is equal to 72 
kilometers per hour, which is the average speed for the entire trip. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carerootests.com.